The Premier League is back, but with its return, I'd like to take a look at a few footballing phrases that are now so outdated they have about as much place in the modern game as a two-footed tackle, 4-4-2 or club loyalty. Now we all know that football is full of overused cliches like it was a game of two halves, 2-0 is a dangerous lead and he's got a good touch for a big man. But there's also still a lot of phrases used in football that are just so old fashioned they bear little resemblance to the realities of the sport today. For example, why is it that when the ball smacks off the bar, commentators still say it's hit the woodwork, despite the fact that all top flight goalposts are made from aluminium and haven't been made from wood since before Scotland last had a decent team? Or why do we still call where the substitutes sit a bench, when all dugouts now are furnished with race car driver seats more suited to Lewis Hamilton than Hamilton Ackies? And speaking of seats, why is it that we still call where the supporters sit the stands, even though the majority of stadiums in the UK have been all seater since the mid 90s, and even in stadiums that have reintroduced standing, it's only in designated standing areas of the stand that you're allowed to stand. Although, obviously, at the moment, no one's able to sit or stand in any stand. Of course, modern technology has also played its part in making stock football phrases redundant. Like it's often said in derby games that the form book goes out the window. But surely there's no one still using a book to track their team's form when the results of even the most obscure leagues are readily available online. And now, whenever a player does something noteworthy during a game, whether it's a wonder goal or a horror tackle or even a dubious VAR decision, can commentators stop saying, that'll make the back pages tomorrow morning, given the fact that by the time they've shown the replay, it's probably already trending on Twitter. By far though, the one that makes the least sense is when a shot goes well over the bar and the commentator says, they've put it in row Z. Row Z is only 26 rows up. In a lot of stadiums, a shot that ends up in row Z probably wasn't that far away from hitting the aluminium woodwork. Finally, it'd be remiss of me not to mention the most outdated aspect of football we should all want to see eradicated from the game, namely the scourge of racism and the racist abuse which is sadly still levelled at black, Asian and minority ethnic players. Football is a great way to bring us all together, so let's hope we can see a time or racial prejudice is not only eradicated from the stands, but from the wider society in general. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if there's any outdated phrases that I've not mentioned that are pet peeves of yours, please comment below, and be sure to look out for them the next time you're watching Match of the Day, which is still called for some reason, despite the fact they do show several matches per programme.